Hi guys and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to route your internet browsing and your media containers such as Sonar, SickRage, Couch Potato etc through Privoxy running in a container with a VPN and so therefore protecting you and your server's privacy. Right, so in this video we're going to be using one of Binhex's excellent download VPN containers, which all have built-in Privoxy, which we're going to be using. So to follow this tutorial, you're going to need one of Binhex's VPN containers installed. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be using Deluge VPN, because I've done a previous video about how to install and set up this container, which you can watch here. But you can use any of Binhex's VPN containers, Deluge, Sab or Rtorrent VPN. Okay, for those of you that don't know what these containers are, they are Docker containers for torrent or NZB downloads that route the downloads through a VPN using popular VPN services such as private internet access. This then allows you to route your downloads anonymously through a server in another region, therefore protecting your privacy. Now, you may think it's not necessary to do this. You think no one can see what you download unless they've got a reason to target you. Well, okay, check this out. Go to www.inowhatyoudownloaded.com. This website tracks torrent downloads and matches them with IP addresses. When you first land on this page, it shows you if it has any records for your IP address. And this isn't actually my real IP. I connected through private internet access VPN service to a New York server. So this is not anyone's real IP, but the downloads here are real. But these people chose to hide their IP by torrenting through a VPN service. Now, if this was your home IP, it would be really embarrassing to get a fine or a letter from your ISP for downloading Alvin and the Chipmunks. But what this shows us is, is just how easy it is to track torrent downloads. So normally, if we were to download a torrent using a container on our server, it will go through the server to the router, then straight to our ISP, who can see everything we are doing. And for those of us in the UK, we've recently had a law passed requiring UK ISPs to record all of our internet activity for a period of one year. So using the same program in a container that has a VPN, we avoid this, breaking away from the ISP, as our traffic is now going through the VPN tunnel. OK, so this is good. But what if we use programs like Sonar, Radar and other media collectors? Whilst these don't actually download in themselves, they do access indexing sites. So our lovely ISP can see this. And do we really want that? Well, the answer is no. We want total privacy. And also some ISPs will block various indexing sites too. So what we do is use the Privoxy built into the container then connect through that to route HTTP and HTTPS traffic through the VPN container rather than directly to the router through the ISP. So now both our searches and our downloads are all private. Okay, so let's go across to our Docker tab and if we go on to Binhex's Deluge VPN and just look at the settings on the template and if we scroll down, first we need to check that our VPN is enabled and that says yes and we have filled in all of the details for our VPN provider such as private internet access, air VPN or our custom one and the next important thing here is we must have enabled Privoxy set to yes and we also want to check here that our LAN network is set correctly. The easiest way to do this is to check what your server IP address is and then the last number change it for a zero and then add a forward slash 24. So for me my server IP is 10.10.20.199 so I take off the 199 and replace it with a zero then a forward slash 24 and so if your server's IP was say 192.168.0.10 you'd remove the 10 and then add a zero and a forward slash 24. This should have all been set up anyway when you set up the container, but it's best just to check it's correct. Anyway, so let's scroll back up to the top, and the next thing we want to note here is this port number here, the 8118. This is the port that we connect to the Privoxy with. 
So we want to keep a note of what this is. And we add that to the server IP address, and then that gives us the full address which we use to connect to our proxy. So now we just need to go to each individual container. And first let's start with radar. Let's go to the web UI and then click onto settings and then go to general. And then you'll see here it says proxy settings. So we just click onto use proxy as yes. And the proxy type, we leave it on HTTPS and the host name. We put in the server IP address and for the port number 8118. And there's no username or password and we just click on to save and that's done that's radar set up and now that will do all of its searches through the VPN okay and so sonar is pretty much exactly the same just go on to web UI and then on to settings general and scroll down and click on to use proxy and again exactly the same as before we have the proxy type as HTTPS and the host name to have your server IP addresses and the port number is 8118. And just click save. Okay, and so now Couch Potato. Again, click on Web UI, then go to the settings and click on Show Advanced and scroll down. And now you'll see you can put in the proxy server here. So again, we put in the server IP address and the port number 8118. And that's Couch Potato set up. And so now let's go back to our Docker container list. And now we'll do SIPRAGE click on to general and click advanced settings and if we scroll down here you can see proxy host and again we put in our server IP and the port number and click on to save changes and that's sick rage none. Right, so that's all the media containers set to use the proxy. Any other programs that you want to use the proxy, you can just add it to the settings if it supports using that, and it will work. But we can also add our PCs and our laptops to the proxy too, so their browsing goes through. So on Windows, go to the control panel, and click on internet options, and go to connections, and then LAN settings. And you can see here, you can click on proxy server and put in the IP address and the port number here. And if I open up a browser, and you can see here under my IP address information that it thinks I'm in the Netherlands. So working fine on the PC. Okay, and on a Mac, we go to system preferences and then click on to network and click advanced. And then here we have proxies and we need to enable the web proxy, the HTTP, and also the secure web proxy, the HTTPS. So just highlight that one, and you put in your IP address of the server and the port number, and tick that, and also the same for the second one, and click OK, and then that's set up on the Mac. Okay guys, so now we can route all of the media collection Docker containers through the VPN as well. And also we can do that with VMs and physical PCs too. The VPN provider private internet access give five simultaneous connections for each subscription. And because it's only one container connecting, it only counts as one of the connections, which is really cool. Well, that brings us to the end of another video and it's late here, so I'm off to bed. Anyway, I hope you found it useful and if you did, as always, please help me with a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like what I do and you want to support the channel, then any donation is really appreciated, which you can do from the link in the top of the page. So, whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, guys, I hope it's good and I'll catch you in the next video.